Hey guys, so like I said last week, we got this company here. They had sent out some products for us to test. So in this video, we're gonna kind of do a back and forth, back and forth comparison of our chemicals we currently use, which is, like I said, Adams Polishes, which is a well-known established detailing company, to, all right there, Loken's Vehicle Detailing. Now, the only thing we are not going to be uh, testing today is actually this bottle right here. This is a uh, ceramic topper. But we will be comparing Logan's interior detailer to Adam's total interior cleaner, Logan's carpet upholstery to Adam's carpet upholstery, and then Logan's strip wash shampoo to Adam's strip wash. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but all these bottles are sealed. I have not opened these. I have not smelled them, looked at them, anything. I know for a lot of people, the smell is not that important, but when a company goes to me personally, when a company goes to that extra step of making sure that their product smells good as well, it kind of shows that they care. So I'm kind of curious to see what these smell like, and that's why I left them sealed. We're going to do a first time review of these smells compared to the Adams counterparts, and not all of Adams stuff smells good. So I'm not expecting all of this to smell good, but this is a tropical scent, a cherry scent, and then the carpet upholstery is not scented. So I'm thinking at least these two should have some kind of decent scent to them. So first thing I recommend doing, if you're detailing your own car, you're detailing a person's car, whatever bottle of cleaner you use, they almost always have the directions of how to use. Some say to spray directly on the surface, some say to spray on a brush or rag and wipe onto the surface. Always read them because this Logan stuff may be significantly stronger than the Adams stuff, and so they would recommend to specifically only spray on a rag where Adams would say you can spray it on the surface. So with that being said, let's read the directions and see what they say. Apply a few light sprays to a clean towel, just gently wipe the interior surface. Once the surface is clean, flip the towel over with the clean side and buff off any excess product. So like I said, they say to spray it directly onto a rag. Whereas Adams says, spray product onto surface to be cleaned or, or directly onto a towel, wipe and remove excess. So Adams gives you the option to spray it directly on the surface or wipe it or onto a towel where Logan's doesn't. So that kind of makes me think that this Logan stuff may actually be a bit stronger. So let's go ahead and smell this. To me, as long as it doesn't smell chemically, it'll be fine because you're cleaning surfaces on a vehicle and then you're going to shut the doors. If it smells chemically, chances are when a customer goes to get in the vehicle, it's going to smell chemically. So yeah, it smells very, very similar to the Adams, but it's, it's very subtle. Like it almost doesn't have a scent at all. It doesn't smell chemically, but it also doesn't smell tropical. It's kind of a good neutral. It's got a hint of tropical, but it's a very neutral smell. So that'd be the total interior cleaner. Then we'll go to Adams. It says to spray liber liberally on soil areas, agitate and wipe clean. Logan's says spray product on surface to be cleaned, agitate, blot and wipe area with clean rag. Yeah, see now that's some. Um, so like I said, the Adams had no scent. It was virtually scentless. This has a scent, it's very, very chemically, but also with a hint of like pine salt, like a lemony kind of smell to it. I'm not a fan of it. But like I said, if it cleans, if you leave the doors open and it airs out and the customer doesn't have that smell, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's since not a make or break of a product. The strip wash. Now this here, I, I can almost guarantee it's not gonna smell good. It's meant to strip all oils and waxes directions. Put three ounces of strip wash into a bucket. Spray hose directly into wash pad to disperse soap and create suds. Fill bucket two thirds of the way full with water. Rinse vehicle with a hose. Do the two bucket method, then rinse again. Then dry the, the vehicle with a drying towel. So kind of just our exact process that we do when you wash them, that's what you do with the strip wash. Logan's says four ounces to a five gallon bucket or a three to one dilution ratio in a foam cannon. Can you see that? It has a uh, little nipple, like spout thing. So you can actually like precisely measure out uh, your, your ounces. 
Oh, that smells good. Oh, it smells really good. It smells just like uh, Cherry Dr. Pepper. That's, that's almost exactly what that Logan smells like. I have a pricing list here from Logan. Uh, he, he did let me know that these pricings are subject to change. These were just like, they're starting to kind of see what they got. Uh, so for the interior cleaner, this 16 ounce bottle that he provided me, $13. By the way, he provided all these chemicals at no cost to me. He shipped them and everything. So this is not a paid video, not a sponsored video. He just sent them out and wanted me to uh, review them. And then I figured I'd make a video for you guys on a upcoming detailing company versus a established detailing company. So the interior cleaner, this 16 ounce bottle is $13. The carpet and upholstery, 16 ounces is $12. So the strip wash, 16 ounce bottle is $18. And the ceramic topper for 16 ounces is $25. And like I said, these prices are subject to change. So you may go to order these and they may be dollars more, they may be dollars less. He also offers them in gallons and five gallons. For comparison, the Adams total, uh, total interior cleaner is also $13, which makes it the same price as Logan's. The uh, carpet upholstery cleaner is $11, which is a dollar cheaper than Logan's, I believe. Yep. And then, and finally, the Adams strip wash is $14, which is $4 cheaper than Logan's. So for the most part, Logan's pricing is almost spot on with what Adams is. So that's it for this whole sit down portion. Now we need to test these products. So we're going to start with the total interior cleaner versus interior detailer. We're going to move to the carpet upholstery uh, cleaners. And I will use an extractor with those to give them their best chance at working. So what we'll do is I'll, I will clean the van, like the hood or something, and we'll, we'll put a layer of wax on that, put some water on it to make sure that there is wax there, that water will beat up. And then we'll use Adams and Logan's strip wash to make sure that wax is removed. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna clean this door panel here. This here has got a brownish color to it where it's dirty. Up here, we're going to do the Logan's and right here, we're going to do the Adams. Uh, this is the little nozzles they give you. We're going to use one utility towel. So I'm gonna fold it into a square like this. We'll use one side for the Logans, use the back side to wipe it clean. Then I will unfold it, fold it the opposite direction to give a fresh side of the rag. And we will clean with, Lo or with Adams and then use the other side to wipe off excess product. We're going to do them both the same way. So. Logan says to spray onto a towel, so Adams will also be sprayed on a towel, although it does say that you can spray it directly onto the surface. So you can see that brown nasty stuff there, and you can see the brown nasty stuff here. So I just sprayed a little bit on this. My first impression of this, the sprayer has a lot of pressure, which is actually kind of fantastic. So and then we will just... Okay, and then we will fold this inside out so all that Logan's product and dirt is on the other side of the rag. Fold it like this. We'll grab the Adams, same thing. See, it just doesn't have the same pressure as the Logan's. Get a decent little mount on the rag. It's clean. All that brown is gone on both panels. So like I said, all that brown is gone on both panels. We did the Adams here and the Logan's here. The uh, things I noticed different, Logan's, the sprayer works a lot better than Adams, so one up on Logan's. Logan's doesn't have as strong as a scent, but it does have a scent. To me, that's another one up on Logan's, because like I said, you don't want your customer to be able to smell the product, unless it has a really good smell to it. So the less that it smells, the better. And uh, a third thing that I'm kind of looking here, they, they clean the same. I don't see any difference in the way they removed them. I didn't really have to scrub, scrub any harder with the Logan's than I did with the Adams. 
Um, so that's that's a tie there. So we're and then finally the finish that it leaves. So the Adams has an added protection, and so depending on the person, some people would prefer to have nothing. Some people would prefer to have the sheen. To me, I think the sheen with the protection is better. So we'll give another one to Adams. So that's two up on Logan's, a tie, and a two up on Adams. And these two products are priced identically. So for the total interior cleaner and interior detailer, Logan's and Adams, doesn't matter, pick a product. Personal choice, if I had to pick one, I would probably go with Logan's just because of that sprayer. It has so much more pressure. So whenever you're, you know, say you're detailing two or three cars, you just make a couple miss and you go. You don't have to make sure your rag is saturated to be able to get things clean with that sprayer. So from there, we will move on to the seats. We'll do the driver's seat and the passenger seat. These seats are very gross. This is the way that we got the van. We're going to spray them with product. I will get out the extractor. We will extract the seats and see which one cleaned uh, more, which one cleaned faster, were they the same, same, that kind of thing. Okay, so now the only thing different here I'm gonna do than what the instructions say is both Adams and Logan's say to agitate. I wanna see the raw cleaning power of each product. So we're going to just spray and extract. We'll see what that does. Uh, I do not have a heated extractor, but I did put hot water in it, which will help. And first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a spray of water from the extractor to give the seats and the uh, chemicals a little bit of extra liquid to help extract out. And then I will spray with the product, let it sit for a couple minutes, and then I'll go through to straight extracting. So let's do that. Same sprayer design on the, the sprayers are the same for all the Logans. And this is where it really, uh, so I'm gonna save you time. I was able to cover the seat in like no time with plenty and plenty of product. So we're gonna let it sit here and kind of dwell and we'll grab the extractor and pull it out. So for this extraction, for this extraction process, I'm going to turn the water on and suck, and then I'm going to turn the water off and suck it out. So as you can see, the uh, Logans did a pretty good job. It didn't get everything out, but like I said, I don't have a heated extractor or really even a professional grade extractor. I have something for a startup. So if I had something that was a little bit better, better equipment wise, I would say it would have got everything out. That seat looks so much better. So now we're gonna move on to the passenger side and test that against the Adams. Okay, so, okay, so carpets are now done. I am all sweaty and gross. Uh, not carpets, let me rephrase it. Seats are now done. Adams versus Logan's. I did notice when I was extracting, the Logan's had a lot more suds to it than the Adams did, but I do think the Adams got the seat cleaner. Not necessarily that it pulled more stains out, but the overall brightness and lightness of the seat for the Adam side seemed to be a lot lighter and cleaner than the Logan side. So in this case, I would recommend for Logan and his uh, carpet cleaner, maybe add a little more cleaner to it to make it a bit stronger. Other than that, they kind of went hand in hand. So because Adams they got the seat cleaner, it will be the winner of this. So right now we're Logan's one with the interior, Adam's one with the carpet. Now this is for demonstration purposes, so I'm not doing this the most proper way, but here I have some of that strip wash just mixed into a water bottle. Very carefully spray the driver's side, wipe it, wipe it down with this, and then get a fresh one and dry it. We'll do the same on the passenger side with abs, just a little bit just to see what it does.
The Adams strip wash did slightly better. It's still kind of beating, but it's also shading significantly more than the Logan's. Uh, the Adams also foamed up a lot more. So I don't know if the uh, Logan's wasn't quite activating or what. So this one is more of a tie, but leaning more towards Adams. Adams did a slightly better job, but Logan's is more user friendly. So. Okay, so uh, that's it for this week's video, guys. Uh, Logan's products. There was one win for Logan, one win for Adam, and the last one could go either way. Uh, so overall, as a, a company that is starting up and not been in it for years like Adams, it is a great, great option. Pricing's all good, the chemicals are good. Uh, I'll have links to his website and his Facebook and stuff in the description. If you guys want to check that out, you can let him know that Stupid Endeavors guy sends you. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. Recommend down in the comments any other chemicals you'd like me to try against Adams. We'll do some more videos like this in the future if you guys like this kind of stuff. Uh, hit that subscribe button because next week, I think we're going to be back on working on stuff. No more detailed videos for next week at least. Uh, I know we've had three detailed videos in a row and so some people are wanting to see some more build stuff. Uh, that's it for this video guys. Uh, we'll see you next week.